Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the forum of the 18th Group Exhibit Hydrogen and Fuel Cells here on Hanover Fair. I'm very proud to announce to you that spontaneously the U.S. Ambassador to Germany, Philip D. Murphy, is visiting us here on stage and giving a short interview with me. Please welcome with me Philip D. Murphy. Good to hear you here. Sit down. It's very nice that you come to our group exhibit here on Hanover Fair. It is already the third time that you're visiting us, so uh, you know us uh, quite well already. And you're visiting, of course, especially the, the US uh, exhibitors here. What do, you, what do you think about this technology if you visit us? Uh, do you have an impression that we cover all parts of this technology here? First of all, it's great to be back. This is one of, if not the biggest, most impressive trade fairs in the world. I love Hanover, punkt, but the Hanover Messer is, is, a, is a treat for, uh, for, for me and for my colleagues. I think this Messer does as good a job as any I've seen of marrying old and new. Yeah. And the fuel cell pavilion that we're in is as good an example of the new yeah. mm -hmm. as I can think of. So I think it, I was just saying to somebody, you measure, take the American companies, over 100 American companies are in the mess of this year, which is terrific. The more the better for us. But if you look in particular at the companies who are here, it's an incredibly impressive list of companies that have been coming here, like Dana Corp I was just with for 18 or 19 years. And many, at the same time, many first timers our Small Business Administration has done a great job sponsoring, helping get a lot of small companies here. And it's in particular with those small companies, you typically see a lot of the cutting edge technology. Right, yeah. So the answer is yeah. mm -hmm. we need and both. We need the old, the big boys, as well as these new emerging companies. And I think they do a great job. So, so do you have the impression that uh, Germany is an important economic market for the United States and it's, it's important that American companies are here in the biggest uh, trade show in Germany uh, on Hanover Fair? Absolutely. I mean, Germany is the fourth largest economy in the world. It's the first or second largest export economy in the world, depending on how you measure it. The investment, the cross-investment, the trade over the Atlantic the jobs that are created on both sides of the Atlantic, the the besondere Beziehungen zwischen the Vereinigten yeah. Staaten in Deutschland is sehr, sehr stark. Speak good German. <laughs> Obviously, we can talk in German yeah, if you want can, to. Right. <laughs> no, we um, stick to English. So that, that, is, that is a given. But it's also worth mentioning one of the X factors that makes this MESA as important and as impressive as it is, is the international flavor of it. If it were just Germany, yeah. it would be important. But it's, it's Germany and then some. And it's international and it's very many American exhibitors here. You, you said... Over 100. Over 100 here on Hanover Fair. And of these 100, 15 here on the group exhibit, Hydrogen and Fuel Cell. You know, especially in this new field, you talked about the new and the old. You bet. Especially in the new field, the American companies are very strong. Yeah, and I, I, I'm, that's to me a great sign of, uh, if you ask yourself, how healthy is an economy? You have to look at innovation, startups, mm -hmm. entrepreneurial spirit, and those are hallmarks of ours, and it's really good to see all, by all of those measures that things are looking up at the moment. And if you look at these American exhibitors here on the group Exhibit Hydrogen and Fuel Cells, what do you think about the expertise that they show in the field of hydrogen and fuel cells? You got the impression that they're well, very fast forward. Yeah, there's no question. There's no question. I'm not an expert, but just walking around talking to these exhibitors, uh, and we've got them. The other thing is we've, we've got them from many American states. Connecticut has, by the way, a, a big concentration of firms here today, but Massachusetts and Texas and Ohio and, and Minnesota and elsewhere. You get the sense that these companies are at or near the cutting edge on a global standard. And when you're in, when you talk about hydrogen fuel cells, uh, the days when you could talk about something like that as a national market are over. This is a global playing field and you've got to be able to compete on a global basis. 
you, 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 you're based locally, you make stuff locally, but you've got to be able to sell and compete globally. And, and if you think of it that way, and that's your mindset, you have what these folks have become, which is world-class uh, innovators. Uh, we are talking here on stage and, and uh, on the group Exhibit Hydrogen and Fuel Cells a lot about the, the, the change, the energy change that's taking place in Germany, especially in Germany. From the point of view of an American ambassador, what do you think about Germany? Are they all crazy to, to change the whole energy sector or, uh, or do you think we are going well forward and maybe other countries will follow? Listen, it's a big challenge. Uh, it's a, a 10-year program. And as I've said to many people, if there's one country in the world that could pull this off, we're here. Because it requires an extraordinary, not only political will, but engineering and technical will. And Germany has got that will. Uh, we came to a, a, a different, uh, at least for the time being, a different conclusion. We're staying with nuclear power in the United States as one element of our baseload power. Nukes account, I think, for about the same as they did in Germany, which is about 20 or low 20 percent. But we've got our own energy challenges. You know, we, we have to be more self-sufficient. That's got to be not just a goal of the United States, it's got to be one of the accomplished goals. There's an enormous amount of progress right now being made in that regard. Shale gas fracking is, uh, is taking off uh, incredibly in the United States right now. That's one example. But renewables, uh, we spend, and particularly if you look at the city and state level and private sector. So forget for a minute what the national strategy might be. And, and I have to say this administration uh, is focused intently on uh, making our energy supplies more self-sufficient, making our country more self-sufficient and uh, environmentally more friendly. But you also have to look at the local progress, both state, city, private, and public-private partnerships. It's quite impressive. Indeed. And it's quite impressive that you've been here. I would like to thank you very much, the U.S. Ambassador to Germany, Philip D. Murphy. Well, it's great to have you here on stage. Ulrich, vielen Dank. Thank you, Ine. Good to see you, buddy.